Welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today is for you beginners, y'all. This is some helpful hints to help you navigate the sometimes complex world of art when you're very first starting out. There are some stuff that you need and there's some stuff that you just don't. And I'm here to, to help take out some of that guesswork and help you get well on your way to happiness and success without breaking the bank. So my recommendations are for some helpful things that can help you along the way are some simple stuff. Like you need some great drawing tools. Great drawing tools, what do I mean? I mean like a series of drawing pencils that are comfortable for you. Maybe it's an ebony pencil, which you know provides like great lights and darks in, in one thing, or maybe investing in a like five pencil set, which will have like different gradations of line quality from light to dark in there. It's up to you, whatever works for you, but like make sure that you get some great drawing pencils and also a couple of great drawing pens. Maybe it can be a small like Pegram Micron set. Maybe you go for a couple of like Copics. I don't know, totally up to you, but find what works for you, but you don't have to go crazy and like get a million, just get a couple. Um, the, the sizes that work for you. I find like a 0.5 is generally my favorite. That's always what I use. So try that. Also, think about getting a great eraser. You think that I'm kidding you, but I'm not. A great eraser will make your life better. Find out what works for you and then get it in several different varieties. Like I have white needed erasers everywhere around my house. You know, they are great. And so I keep them everywhere, even have them in my purse, which sounds completely, totally ridiculous. But if you carry a sketchbook everywhere, you should have a pencil and a good eraser too. Then make sure to invest in a painting knife, you guys. If you're gonna be mixing any quantity of paint, don't do that with your brushes. Your good brushes are for painting, not for, you know, mixing up color. Get yourself a painting knife. It's only a couple of bucks and the lifespan that you will gain from your brushes, not mixing color, um, with your brushes is well, well worth the couple of bucks that you spent on a painting knife. It is just great. So go ahead and get yourself one of those. The other thing I would say is brush soap. A couple of bucks for some brush soap is going to do you wonders. It's going to improve the performance of your brushes. It's going to keep them healthy and happy and clean. And brush soap is also great when you drop some stuff in your lap and you get them on your pants and the cuff of your shirt, which is my life. Definitely have, get yourself a bar of brush soap and have it around. And then a great artist lamp will change your life. It makes life easier. Being able to see is important folks. So make sure that you invest in a, a really great artist lamp. Maybe it's a table lamp. Maybe it's one that clamps onto your easel. Maybe one that's a floor lamp because maybe you work in front of the TV on your lap sometimes. I don't know, whatever, but make sure it's a good one and that it works for you because having um, great light and being able to see easily and manipulate that light to do what you need it to do is, it, it will take you light years and it will take you quickly. So make sure to look at those few handful of really important um, things to have when you're starting out. They will make all the difference and make you a happier, healthier, super, super excited person about your art and we know that you will enjoy. 